the math in Montessori is, is one of those areas where you can really see Maria Montessori's love for finding ways of physically representing these, these tough mathematical concepts um, and bringing it down to the young child's level. So we have materials in our classroom that start at the very basics, one-to-one -one correspondence, learning, uh, learning your basic numbers beyond the rote one, two, three, four, five, but what does one mean? How, what, what is the value of one? Having one something in your hand. Uh, and so we have spindle box, we have these, this activity that helps you, that helps the child to, to learn these quantities one by one by one. So if they learn one, then they hold two, then they hold three, and when they get to, to nine, it's, it's really a big stack of these little uh, spindles, these little sticks that they're holding, and for most young children they have to hold it with two hands even, it's so bigger, it's a bigger quantity. Um, and so physically, they're feeling that the quantity is changing as they're putting it in. And there's a space that is there for zero as well. And that's our, our time, this is our opportunity for introducing this concept of zero, which if you think about it from the young child's perspective, that's a really hard concept to understand. What is zero? It's nothing. It's, it's the empty set. And so when you finish doing all of it, the teacher brings you back to look at this zero that is empty. What do we put here? Well, that's zero. And you know immediately if the child understands what zero is, they'll say, nothing goes with zero. There's nothing there. Um, and if not, you give the, the same words around it so that they understand that this is what zero represents, is, is this, for this empty space, this empty set. But she starts at the very basics of, of learning one to nine, one to 10. And then very naturally, with concrete materials, brings children through uh, learning how to count to higher numbers and then even into complex numbers, uh, introducing the concept of place value, uh, that we have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, and having a, a material that matches that, uh, that physically represents what 1,000 is. 1,000, uh, you ask a, a, a four-year-old to, to name the, the highest number that they can think of, and very often it's 1,000. Uh, you know, three and four-year-olds, they're, they're fascinated by this big number. And so we give them what one bead is, and then in the same moment they can hold it right next to 1,000, and 1,000 is heavy. It takes two hands to hold, and it you feel the weight of this change in the value of it. So there, it's, it's much less abstract. There's still a level of abstractness that the child will have to grow into their understanding of it, but they can get the names of it, they can get that this is a much bigger quantity. And as they progress through the Montessori sequence, they really come out with a full understanding of what these different values are in a way that I don't think can be achieved without these, these manipulatives in their hands. We have children who are, are working with bead chains, which are these, we take the same beads and then we have one that shows one, one that shows two, one that shows three, four, five, all the way through 10. And then we multiply them at, at 10 times three. And so the child puts it down and then they count. And after three, they have a little indicator that they put next to it and it shows three. After six, after nine, and they're showing how the numbers go up in three. They don't realize that they're working on multiplication. They don't realize that they're working on squares, but that's exactly what they're laying the foundation for. They're, they're internalizing this because they're also using the concrete object right in front of them that their hands are touching all the way through and they're, they're counting all the way through three times three. What is three times three? Three times three is nine, and they put it together and it makes a little square. And when they go all the way up, so they're getting what the square is, and then they make three squares, and if they put one on top of the other, that's the cube of three. What's the cube of three? Uh, and so they're really taking each one to that next level without ever having to say, oh gosh, I'm doing this really hard math. It's not about doing really hard math. It's the same idea that work is what we do. Work is life. And so we help them to understand these much harder concepts, but with very physical materials that they can, can play with in their hands, that they can touch and feel. 
uh, they can do these, these big addition problems at very young ages because they're not being asked to do it abstractly. They're not given just the numbers on a piece of paper and said, add these up. That would be impossible for a young child. But they can look at the concrete quantities of each of those numbers separately, put it together, and then they, they end up with this larger quantity that shows what the total is. Um, it's taking addition that uh, can, can really slow someone down once they get into elementary school and breaking it down so that they're able to do it as a preschooler without having to be in agony over it. This is really very straightforward. You just, you have these two quantities and you put them together and then you count up how much you have. And gradually as they, they mature through the Montessori process within the elementary program, we can see them leaving the materials behind um, as they decide that they're ready to do it without, um, as they're ready for that more abstract thought. But in early childhood, they really need their hands on the materials um, so that they, they're fully getting it all the way through.